Welcome to the Cruiser Racer channel. I'm Rebel Lion of the Electron Rebels, and this is my creative space. I call it the Builder's Corner. The Builder's Corner is the home for electric bike enthusiasts. And in this space, we're always on the hunt for the perfect canvas. A canvas for me is a bike frame. Nothing excites me more than turning something old into something new. So if this appeals to you, and you like what we like too, then subscribe to this channel. Here in the Builder's Corner, you'll learn about bike mechanics and DIY custom e-bike builds. Now, let's get to the show. What's up guys? Today I'm getting ready to fix a problem that I've been having with my brakes. Um, Something that I knew was an issue, but it didn't really become an issue until um, I noticed that I couldn't move the positioning of the, uh, the brake arms. So I'll show you what's going on. So the problem is, is that my brake cable is too short. It's causing it to pull down here at the noodle. And then you see how the boot's bunched up. It's got no room. Top of that, the uh, brake arm shake in between me coming down, me, me riding, because they're just hugging the brake, especially on this side. And uh, the adjustment is okay but um, the issue is is that it's it's having to become so tight in order for it to actually break so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the housing on this I've got a longer cable and then uh, yeah adjust these brakes and make them work right change the, the uh, wire I didn't have any I didn't get any I still don't have the tool and I have to be doing this at the shop and I'm not doing this at the shop so it's what it is continued we interrupt this program for a word from our sponsor today's sponsor is cruiser racer cruiser racer is more than just a channel on youtube it is an entire platform based on electric bike building and enthusiasm the first way you can help support this channel is by liking this video and subscribing and if you'd like to go a little further check out our store on teesprings in the store you'll find eye-popping and authentic designs from the Cruiser Racer line and the Electron Rebels. This is a great way to support this entire platform and help us grow. So head on over to the store and check out our designs today. Now back to the show. All right, and we're back. <laughs> this time with the right size brake cable. So I went ahead and went to the bike shop yesterday and picked up a new cable this time the right size this one was way too short and you don't want to use you really don't want to use old cables with new housing you you want to you want to change them all i mean once they once you start installing them you're working with them and this is this is pretty much what you end up with the cable becomes frayed in certain areas you 
you know, bent. You want you want to get fresh cable to work with. So here's my fresh cable. Let's put it on the bike. I start the replacement by connecting the cable head to the brake lever. Then I adjust the barrel on the lever slightly. Next, I place the cable in on the cable housing and begin threading the cable through the housing. Once the housing and ends are placed, I like to use another cable end to go on top of the noodle. After the noodle is installed, then comes the boot. The boot is optional. Some like to use it and some do not. On this step, I place the noodle end cap inside of the cable hook unit. The cable is then positioned inside of the cable clamp bolt. Here's the next problem I encountered on this replacement. You see this? This is not good. The boot should not bunch up this way when you're adjusting the brakes. It seems the right brake arm is broken. This is going to require further investigation. In this case, I need to remove the arm from the brake post. What I'm checking is the spring tension. What I'm finding is there's no spring tension on the right brake. To ensure the right arm is defective, I'll attempt to adjust the spring tension screws. I'm feeling that the spring here is loose. It's it's um it's definitely not getting enough tension. I think this is a problem. The arm or the uh, the brake uh, the brake assembly altogether is uh, it's just very loose on this arm on the brake arm. So that's definitely a contributing factor as to why this is this doesn't have enough the right amount of tension. Like this one here, the left side is uh, definitely stronger than the right side. This one is just it's really loose here. So that's something I'm gonna have to address. I might be having to go to the bike shop today figure that part out. Alright, it looks like I'm just going to have to replace the brakes. At least the right side, but, you know, there's no one side it comes as a set so I'm gonna have to replace that that brake on the uh, right it's um it's not grabbing any tension at all um, I did add another washer here to see if it would help it but it's just it's really loose should like I said, it should be like this this right here is real springy 
right? Strings back. Push this, nothing happens with this. So, compared to that, it's obvious that this is just a terrible break arm or break right now. The spring isn't really working very well. So this is one of those rare occasions where you may have to change the spring on the uh, brake. Um, then again, I'm just gonna buy a new set. It's just easier to buy a new, another set. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm just gonna put it together now. I might still have some issues with it rubbing, um, with the uh, pad rubbing against the wheel for the time being, but uh, it is still early and second cycle isn't quite open yet so I'm gonna go ahead and put it together and then I'm gonna head up there and grab me a new set of brakes Alright, now we're back at it. While studying brake diagrams online, I came across this top tensioner that replaces the noodle. This looks like it may be an easier way to adjust the brakes, and I may try this component in the future. When I look for used parts, especially with brakes, there's a few things that I'm looking for. One, obviously, it being that the spring is good and it, it's uh, got enough tension for when I need to brake. It's catching and I don't have to pull too hard on the lever. Second would be the uh, part here where I fish the noodle through to catch the brake on the other end. This cup holder right here, I will call it, it needs to be in place. It can't be bent here. Sometimes they're, they're bent out. Uh, the used parts they're all uh, the, the the cup is is wide and it's deformed and all it does is help the noodle jump out of the cup when you're breaking so that's something else that I look for when buying brakes or not getting <laughs> getting used brakes um, also this one was super cheap this this brake arm is it's look how thin that is it's a very off-brand Chinese I'm sure I mean they all are but this one is seriously weak this is a, a thin weak arm compared to I'll pull this one out right here or actually I have the other one down here compared to this right see that just cheap so, this is definitely a much better, sturdier arm, or not arm, but brake, than, than this right here. That, even the, the plastic on the back that allows you to um, loosen the tension on the brake is even cheap. Like, this is a nice, harder plastic compared to this you probably can't tell but it is this is a cheap arm all in all cheap arm cheap break <laughs> Thank you.
Now that is a healthy break. You see how the boot on there just has free space to move as the brake stretches is compressed. Before it was just bunched up in the middle and it was definitely a sign that there was tension not coming from one of the sides which we now know was the right side. So these are decent brakes. That's the finished product. And now I have more cable to work with. It's better longer than shorter. I can deal with it if it's just a little bit too long, which it is, but that's fine. And uh, you don't necessarily need a uh, cable end on this side. It just, the one that I had before, it would just, it fell right into the noodle here but it was starting to tear up the housing so so one other thing I did have to do was make sure that the brake pads were lined up properly as they are compressed they're gonna go to pointing down they're gonna catch downward so I needed to bring them up just a little bit so that you know they would catch down or on the complete or the entire rim not leave any room for wearing uneven wear so and that was also I had to do that on the back brakes too because I hadn't done that in a while so this is done <sighs> that was a lot it should have taken one day two hours Took a total of two days and that was because I had to run back and forth to the bike shop for more parts. One to get a brake cable and the other to get brake cable housing. So that was a lot and I sincerely hope that my obstacles were beneficial to you. That's all that matters. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode of the Builder's Corner right here. And thank you so much for watching and being a part of this channel. I'll be back on Monday for another episode or for a, another documentary adventure. And also on Friday, next Friday, for another episode of the Builder's Corner. If you like what you saw, please give this episode a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, subscribe. I post content twice a week just for you on Mondays and Friday. Have a good weekend as you are out there riding your bike and enjoying the weather. Do me a favor and stay safe and ride easy. If you'd like to be part of our purpose, mission, and our journey, please consider becoming part of the Electron Rebels Bike Club. You can find links to the club in the description below. Ride easy.